Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Friday, November 8th, 2024, and I'm doing my monthly COVID update. While the most recent data from the CDC shows that the most dominant Omicron subvariant is the KP3.1.1 variant. It's one of the flirt variants, and now it's up to 52% of all variants sequenced across the United States. Now we've seen the rise of the XEC variant. In my October 8th video, it made up 6% of the variant sequence in the United States. Now it's around 28%. Now the XEC variant has spread to more than 43 countries across Europe, Asia, and North America. It's what's called a recombinant of two earlier KP flirt variants. And they're all descendants of this JN.1 Omicron subvariant. Now, these COVID uh, variants are pretty much causing the same symptoms that we've seen in the past. And there's so far no evidence of increased disease severity caused by the XEC variant. Remember to get your COVID-19 vaccine updates especially if you're high risk due to chronic medical conditions like COPD, asthma, heart failure, diabetes, if you're on kidney dialysis, if you're 65 years and older, and if you're pregnant. There are three options for the updated vaccine. There's still Moderna and Pfizer, which are the messenger RNA vaccines, and Novavax. And you can switch these vaccines. Now the CDC and the FDA say that the updated vaccine is protective against these new variants. Other prevention strategies include uh, wearing a mask in poorly ventilated spaces and in crowds. Don't forget to test if you're symptomatic so you can keep your loved ones and your co-workers safe. You can order your four free COVID tests per household. Go to covidtest.gov. Not sure how long free COVID tests will be available with the administration changing. Now we're entering into the holiday season. Don't forget one important prevention strategy, improve your ventilation. You know, one of my viewers keeps reminding me to mention the Corsi, C-O-R-S-I, Rosenthal, R-O-S-E-N-T-H-L-A-L boxes or other do-it-yourself purifiers. There are lots of videos on YouTube and websites showing examples of do-it-yourself air purifiers. They consist of a fan and some air filters. You can build an air purifier that's just as effective as some of the commercial products that cost 10 times more money. And everybody wants to save money these days. The advantages of air purifiers over opening the windows or the doors to improve ventilation are that using the air purifier means you don't have to let in the rain, the snow, or the cold air. Now, improving the air helps with other viruses and pathogens as well. We all know that COVID is here to stay. It's not going away. We know that these new variants will just keep emerging. So take care, be well, and uh, I'll be back next month with another update unless something changes.